Hey people, this is Mike Jr. the second, this is Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, and I forgot to turn on my fan. Ta -da, there we go. Small fan that I have going instead of my big one. Anyway, we're back at this point because not only did I heal up and switch out some shadow Pokemon so that I could heal up a few of them faster, I found out how this thing works. Go on here. If you don't see anything the first time, wait. You might see it the first time, but wait the first time, this thing comes up. Yeah, kind of a secret. Gotta wait a second to figure it out. I think you only have to wait one time, though. I I, I noticed it when I was walking by him, something going, where the fuck was that there? So, yes, anyway, we get one item. Just the max potion. That's it, there we go. Right back on. So, two max potions heals all the HP on a Pokemon. Not really that useful since hyper potions will pretty much heal up our Pokemon for the rest of this area. And the game after that, we don't really run into any moment where we need that. If anything, it might be Mount Battle, but that's it. And Mount Battle is actually pretty tough in this game. You guys might not know. What's the Pokemon with the highest HP? Okay, Avalanche has the highest HP. HP, nice. 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 Yeah, Mount Battle is actually kind of mean in this game I never really talked about. Some of the character, like some of the uh, people, they have like... Well, well, some of the trainers, they have, like, legendaries on their fucking team. Like, in, in Mount Battle last time, it was, like, the very end of the game. I think, from what I remember, like, level 70 and whatnot, I was hitting, like, Articuno and Suicune and bullshit like that. Not only that, but one of the Articuno... Hunakunos... Ugh, can't speak. One of the Articunos had fucking Sheer Cold. If you don't know what Sheer Cold is, it's the one-hit KO move for Ice-type Pokemon. It continually... It it hurts me. It, it's, it's the only time I actually got defeated in this game that I remember that was... I have to say, it was pretty infuriating, because it was just, it was cheap! It really is! I mean, it never missed, too, and I hate that. I hate it when moves never miss. Anyway, we're gonna go to the one point. I checked, too, as you can already tell, there was no healing point past that, um... That specific thing, there was no, uh, healing thing. Instead, um... I actually found an admin, so we're gonna be finding that soon. And by the way, the one guy we found at ONBS, he wasn't an admin. Yeah, I thought... I, I figured he was an admin. I upload the episode tomorrow... No, in two days, so... Friday, I, I upload the episode for that. By the way, these two are going to be up for the team. Uh, and I'm probably going to put his name up there just because of how much he kicked my ass. <laughs> so, yeah... I don't know if you can fall back through these holes again after the whole thing disappears on you, to be honest. So anyway, just go over here. And just go over here. Hey, an elevator I didn't know about. You. You know, I never realized, he wears a sock, like, he was like a giant sock on his head. Makes me think of Double D from Ed and Eddie, actually. <laughs> your name's Snaddle? I didn't even pay attention to your name, my god. Yes, Gor Gorgon was useless, even though he's stronger than you. <laughs> Sucks for you. Bring it on, bitch. I just thought, looking at what's around his neck, does he have like does he have like a mood ring around his neck? Cause that's what it looks like. Eh shit a quacksire. I mean, those are equipped to take out a Quagsire, so I'm just going to bite on its tails. And obviously we're going to be smart this time and use Flamethrower on one of the Pokemon. If anything, we can hopefully flinch him. Because the ground move can take out Bolt. And I really don't want Bolt to die, considering I need him. Then again, I have enough revives to last me... ...fighting this place probably five times over. Hey, a scissor! A bug with steel type. 
<laughs> Four times weak to fire. Oh god. It's gonna hurt. Damn. Wow, you actually stood that pretty well. Houndoom. I, I gotta give you props for that, not gonna lie. Bite. Flamethrower on Scizor. Come on, you gotta flinch him, Bolt. One flinch, please. And again, Cerberus shall take down the Pokemon, because he's a beast. Then again, what, what Pokemon named Cerberus wouldn't be a beast? Come on, let's not lie here, people. Solrock! <gasps> no way! He had a Lunoon before! It's a Shadow Pokemon! I would have never guessed! God damn it. I'm surprised Cerberus is taking these pretty well. Hell, he's still got some pretty good speed, even though these things are taking him out. Alright then, so, Thunder Wave on Zay Soul Rock. We're gonna use Bite on the Quagsire. This guy's pretty much gonna have Shadow Sky, too. I'm positive. I'm positive he's gonna have Shadow Sky. Yep, called it. Fucking ass. At least we get to finally take out that Quagsire. Come on, Bolt. Seriously, you couldn't flinch him. Just, just once. I, I, w one time out of the two times you hit him, it would have been really nice. Wow, a cast form. I always found it funny. Like, like they tried to make it seem like a Pokemon changes based off the... The cast form changes based off weather attributes. But it doesn't change to both Sandstorm... And, like, it doesn't do anything to this, either. I mean, I understand why they can't make it do it to this. It would be pretty stupid if they could. But you just gotta think about it and just think to yourself, really? I don't know. That, that, that's my opinion. Anyway, we're gonna take out that cast form. And... Why did I go this far? Why did I have to go all the way around for that? Anyway, have a push. Alright, Cerberus, I knew you could take him out. You got this. Take him out, please. Thank you! See, even if we were the same levels as these guys, we would still be kicking their ass. A Starmie? No way. Yep. Star Storm! Oh, have I missed you, Starmie. So that means this guy actually has a pretty capable Pokemon. Yeah, not gonna work. Both of us. Well, actually, no. No, it, yeah, it hurts Cerberus pretty badly. So now I gotta watch out for that Starmie. Actually, I don't think I can hit with Bite either. Shit, I gotta start switch out Cerberus. <laughs> oh, Thunder Wave. Yeah, I didn't fight this guy, I just knew he was here. That was it. Uh, da, 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 Yes, that must be annoying for you guys, right? Actually, should I use... No. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Starmie, from what I remember, had some pretty good special defense. That could have just been my Starmie, though, considering the fact that, like I said, EV stats and everything. I don't know about base stats, but what are you gonna do? Thunder Wave. This is the one Pokemon I just have to catch. Oh no, Shadow Mist, you lowered my evasiveness, even though I wasn't trying to lower your accuracy or raise my evasiveness. No. It doesn't do much unless you're trying to use moves like... I don't know. I don't know. If you're trying to use like one-hit KO moves, okay, I get that. Up, oh, Shadow Panic. Fuck. Hate you. Come on, Elegant. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Fucking bullshit. I guess I gotta get Shadow Pokemon to be annoying somehow. So right now, this guy's pretty much being the Koga of fucking Shadow Pokemon. Using both status and ailments. I, 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 I know confusion's not a status and ailment, like a type 1 status and ailments, but the fuck you want to call it? I don't care. Um. Wait, so is like, God damn it, I can't have Bolt out here either. Fuck. So who should I bring out? Yeah, bring out Fang. Especially since, you know, Bolt's confused right now, so anyway. Can you Psychic on Starmie? It's only gonna be 50 power, thanks to, uh... It's gonna be a little bit resistance, and no critical hits, Elegant. 
Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Ah, paralyzed, motherfucker. Did it right for once. Yeah, it didn't hurt me. This is gonna hurt. So I guess Shadow Sky is also distant, uh, based off certain kind of status thing. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we could try using Confuse Ray. Sawrock, Psychic on Starmie again. Just in case, like, a Psychic for some reason brings down Starmie only like 1 HP. And then, like, all of a sudden, it hits itself in confusion, killing itself. Thank you. No critical hits, Elegant. I know you might be pissed. Okay, good. I can take that. Alright, then this is doing pretty well so far. Of course. I know I could use that yellow flute, but I really don't need it. Ah, uh, that sky failed. Hopefully it hits itself in confusion again so it doesn't be able to get it back in the confusion. If, nah, if I, if I hit a critical hit, it'll die. I don't want to hit Starmie and get a critical hit, because I know I'm going to do it. Fuck it, I'll hit Solrock. Solrock's psychic, I think, and if not, then well, fuck me. Actually, is it a fire type? Shit, it's a fire type, isn't it? Fuck me. We'll have to see. I forget. Okay, it is a psychic type. Good. I might actually try catching these guys now. Shadow Ray. Fucking shit, that was powerful. I got a text message. Hit yourself? God damn it. Why can't you hit yourself in confusion? Ass. Well then. That sucks. Uh, I could try healing Elegant just because Elegant's gonna be able to, you know, do stuff. Uh, I can use a timer ball on these guys. Stormy. Stormy is powerful. I'm gonna try catching that Stormy. Sorry. And Hyper Potion while we're at it. Since I'm pretty sure Elegant's gonna be able to keep taking these hits. Come on, Starstorm. You know you wanna be caught. You were a beast in the last game. Show it again. Where's that Starstorm spirit? Fuck yeah, Starstorm! Alright then, Starmie caught. Of course, you snap out of confusion without being. Oh, oh, oh. Shadow Battle. Actually, I can kind of understand the Shadow Mist now. Lowers evasiveness, then use Shadow Panic to make sure we always get hit by, you know, confusion. That's all I can think of, though, anyway. Uh, actually, no, it's a rock type. Yeah, air cutter should work. Elegant! Ha! Huh, it's a rock! Oh, come on, Fang. Get your head in the game. Son. Come on, Fang. Really? Just really? Ah, paralyzed. Fuck it. Actually, I'll try one more time. 
but also throw up an Ultra Ball while I'm at it. Alright then, let's see if we can do this. If not, Fang could possibly faint. Come on. Stay in that Pokeball. You know you wanna. Bitches love Pokeballs. Sora Cut! Sweet. Dun dun. I love how he has his own pose. With the whole don't be don't hit me in the face thing. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Anyway. Wait a second. Hey, down there's the one guy. Seriously, look, that's the one guy from the guy who helped one of the guys who helped us out. I guess they still are Master Grievous stuff. I mean it figures, but you never know. Hey pal. Yeah, have fun with that. Reason why I didn't heal is I'm pretty sure down here is where the entrance is. Is what I'm guessing. And if so, that means I should be if I go here now, I should be able to get to the Pokemon Center really fast. Alright then, so. But like I said, Blissey has tons of HP, and actually Shuckle has tons of defense. They're both really strong. Uh Thunderbolt on Blissey and Flamethrower on Shuckle, since even though Shuckle has tons of defense, it doesn't mean it has special defense. See, look at that! Look at that shit! Ha! <laughs> Paralyzed the one time. It's a rock type, so it's not super effective, but still. Oh yeah, fuck you, light screen. That guy knows how to cover his weaknesses. Ah, <sighs> give him that. Oh god, he has bite. See how double kick does. Flame throw on the Blissey. Just to change things up. Kick to the face. Another kick to the face. Wow, that did even less damage. Ah, paralyzed, motherfucker. Alright, just because I can't survive a hit from Bide, I'm gonna. Ah, uh, then again, what if he kills it? Gonna have to risk it. In terms of being hit by Bide. Holy shit! When were you that powerful? Bolt? You have crab attack! Ah, oh, that rhymed. Weezing! Is Weezing one of the shadow? Nope. Yay, rape all around. Oh. Critical hit! Nice timing! Oh, thank you, Cerberus. And you guys are level 48 now, very nice. Yeah, you still have crap attack, but oh, you have worse defense. Phone again. Thunderbolt. And Flamethrower. That's all we can really do. Should be able to take him out. And you're dead, son. Awesome. 48 for Cerberus. 48 all around. Thanks for the apology. Now get the fuck out of here. Anyway, as you can see, beginning of the game. Or beginning of when we came here. Which means quick Pokemon Center, fuck yeah. I'm gonna check, or at least show you guys, if not. How's the Purified Chamber doing? As you can see, most of them are getting down there still. But hey, better than nothing. And... 
I have eight Pokemon that can be purified down here. Just wait. Let's register. See? It's a good idea just to take them out. And just to see you can see what items they have, Dragon Fang. Yeah. Obviously, it has a stick. If it doesn't, it, you're being ripped off. And Dragon Fang, which helps Dragon-type moves. Don't have a Dragon Pokemon, so not gonna work. Don't really need it in this game, too. No, you don't see a lot of Dragon Pokemon. I can only think of one. That you might have to worry about it, but even then, you're gonna want to catch it anyway. Anyway! Because of the Dragon Knight, obviously. So then...